The first step is to define standard parts. There are three types, connector, leading part, and fixture. Next is to set ports for the standard parts. You can set the origin point and direction. The extension value can help you control the wire routing. Then we use virtual pin and name it. Now the port has been created. After we complete the ports, the second step is to create a harness assembly. Here is the material attribute. And we can define the parameters of the wire and cable. Just add a new wire, then we can define the diameter, color, etc. As for the definition of the cable, we can add cores and modify the parameters such as diameter. If protection is needed, we can also define it in the same way. Now we can create harness. Add the ports created before as references, to better control the routing. We can also add the lines as references. Then select ports and we can create the wire we want. As you can see, with the ports and lines, it's convenient for us to design the routing. If you need to design cables, the step is the same. In addition, we can use attach command to modify the wire and make the routing the same as the previous wire we created. Adding a control point is an easy way to modify it and enables us to change the routing freely. We also provide you with detach command if the attachment is no more needed. Finally, we can add protection. Here are abundant protection types. Choose the proper one, select the wire segment, define the offset and it will be created. The harness module provides users with a professional harness design solution and improves the visualization of harness.